Hello. Today we are going to look at the setup of Demon Tools Lite version and the purpose of that is to demonstrate the use or the creation of uh, of an ISO image. Now, why do we need to create an ISO? Many times we may have a CD and we want to use a virtual image um, on a machine that may not have a drive, an optical drive. Or it simply is faster to run with an ISO as compared to uh, or disk image as compared to running uh, a disk from an optical drive. So in terms of performance and flexibility and what people may also forget is that CDs also are very easy to scratch so they may become damaged or destroyed so it's many for many reasons it is actually simpler and safer to work with a disk image or an ISO an ISO in fact is simply one format of a CD image and demon tools allows us to work with ISOs as though they were an actual CD installed on the actual machine. So the first thing that we're going to do is to demonstrate where we can get this tool, Demon Tools Lite, and this is the website from which you can download it. Now you'll note that I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to begin the install process. So we're going to accept the licensing agreements and we're selecting the free license. And we're going to proceed with the installation which usually doesn't take very long. And we are now going to run Demon Tools Lite. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to make a disk image. And for that you need to have your CD already installed in your DVD or CD drive. So we're going to click make a disk image. We are now also going to select the path to where the image is going to be stored. So in this case I have a removable drive uh, that I'm going to store this image and I'm going to save it as an ISO. So I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to start the process. And we are resuming. I had to pause because this is going to take a little while. But we are now near the end of the imaging process or the creation of the ISO. And there we are, we are finished. 
So we now have an image of the DVD. Uh, in this case, it was an installation of the Windows 2008 Silver R2, and that disk image has now been created. So I'm going to show you how we can mount this and use it as an image. So the first thing that we're going to do is to add a virtual drive. And then we're going to mount that drive. And here we have the ISO that was just created. So I hit open. I select it and I hit open. And it mounts the image. Just as if it were a CD in the CD drive. So that now, if I go to Windows Explorer and I look at my CD, my my machine, I will see that Drive G actually contains, and in fact, it will try to mount it as though because it's a Windows installation CD, it will attempt to start the. Uh, the installation so all I want to do is just open it so that you can see all of the files are in here and so it is so that concludes the use of demon tools light to create as well as to mount uh, a virtual drive or an ISO thank you very much